Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to fix injector leaks on any car. In today's episode I'm working with Citroen C4 and I'm going to show you how to fix leaking injectors and what you have to do if you have leaking injectors on your car. As you can see, after I start the engine, if you look close onto the injector number 1 and 2, you will see a lot of vapors, a lot of gas around the injectors which is coming out from the engine. And this is not good. If you also have a lot of fuel around the injectors and if you see that the vapor, the fumes and the pressure is coming out from the from the engine in the area where your injectors are installed, this is meaning that you have bad o-rings or washers or depends on how you call them, if it's meaning that you have to fix and reconditionate your injectors. So this is what I'm going to show you in this episode. Okay everybody, first of all what I recommend to do is to wait at least 30 minutes until the engine is cooled down completely if your engine is hot because if you work on a hot engine most likely you will destroy the threads and you don't want this because this will cause you a lot of problems so just wait a little just wait until your engine will cool down and after that you can go ahead and remove the injectors and hold the hour from around them okay as you can see those are my new o-rings and in today's episode i'm going to show you how to do and how to fix all of the injectors in this car i have four injectors but I'm not going to film every injector itself. I'm going to show you how to fix the injector number one. And after that, you can go ahead and do exactly the same for the other injectors. Because this will take uh, less time for me and also for you guys, if you are watching this. Okay, everybody, first, you'll have to remove the hose, which is going into the turbine. You'll have to use a flat screwdriver to remove the clamps. And after that, you'll be able to remove it completely from the car. After that, you'll have to remove the four metal clips which are holding the pipes on which the fuel travel into the injectors you'll have to remove that little metal clips and put them away and only after that you can go ahead and put your screwdriver underneath the fuel lines and after that you'll be able to push them up and they will come out just make sure you don't break them because in some cases the fuel lines can be very fragile because they are made from plastic okay after that you can go ahead and remove the plastic connectors and also the wiring from the top of the injectors just follow what I'm doing, because in most of the cases, probably, I'm not going to explain it perfectly. But if you guys are watching this, you will have a good idea on what you will have to do. After that, you'll have to remove the plastic cover from over the camshaft. You'll have to use an 8mm socket to remove the bolts. And after that, you'll also have to remove the top pipe, which is going into the turbine. Because if you don't remove the pipe from the turbine, you won't, have, you won't be able to remove the plastic over very easy. It can be done, but probably you will force the things and probably you will break something. So just remove also the plastic pipe from, uh, from the top of the turbine and after that you'll be good to go. As you can see, after I'm done with removing all the necessary pipes from the turbine, the camshaft cover will come out very easy. And I recommend to take a piece of cloth or something like that to put over the camshaft because you don't want anything to fall into the engine. Because if you, if something you have there, if any tool or any metal part will fall into the engine, most likely you will destroy the engine. So just take that in mind. After that, you'll have to remove the pipes on which the fuel travel, the metal pipes, from the top of the injectors and you'll have to put them away. After you're done with removing the metal fuel pipes from the injectors, you'll have to take a normal tool, I think it's a Torx, to remove the two bolts which are holding the injectors mounted onto the car. So you'll have to remove, in most of the cases, the injectors are only holding by two bolts. So you'll have to remove those two bolts and after that you'll have to wiggle 
left and right, up and down a little, the injector until the wheel came out from its place. In most of the cases, the injectors will not came out very easy, but maybe you are a lucky one and your injector will came out very easy. In my case, these injectors are coming out very easy. As we'll see, the injector number one came out very easy. I did not put a lot of force onto it. And this is how it's looking. I will show you in a second all the overings which you'll have to replace. So after you remove the injector, what you have to do next is to look if you have the rubber washer onto the top right here. This is the this is one of the O-rings which you'll have to replace. This is one from right here. And if you look inside the engine, in most of the cases, you will also have an O-ring inside there. You'll have a copper O-ring, a copper washer from the injector. Because in most of the cases, this washer will not stay fit onto the injector and it will remain into the engine. So when you are removing the injector, this washer in most of the cases will remain into the engine. So you'll have to figure out how to remove it. Normally there is a special tool, but as you can see in my case, I'm using this uh, wire, this metal wire. I'm going to put it inside the engine. Just make sure it's cleaned and is not uh, going to fall into the engine. In this case, mine is very long and it's a strong wire. So I'm going to put it inside the washer and I bend it in a special way in which when I pull out, the washer will stay and will remain onto the wire. And just look how I'm doing this. Perfectly. When I pulled up from the wire, it also came out with the copper washer. So this is also the washer which you'll have to replace. Okay, everybody, this is how it's looking. Just make sure that the wire which you are using is strong enough and you want to make it go through the washer because if it's not going through the washer, you won't be able to catch the washer. After that, if you all see right here, this is the rubber o-ring which you'll have to remove. This is the rubber washer and I recommend you to put a piece of paper inside the engine because you don't want anything to fall in. And you'll have to use a tool like this, you'll have to use something sharp to put it under the washer and after that you'll be able to remove it from the engine. So this is what you'll have to remove. This is the copper washer, this is the rubber washer. And now you'll have to clean all around the area where the injector was installed. Just to make sure that when you are putting new washers onto the injectors and everything will be clean and good to go. And this is the last washer which you'll have to replace. The washer from the top of the injectors, from the top part of the injectors. So to install new washers onto the injectors, to install new O-rings, you'll have to remove the old ones. So after that, you'll have to take first the plastic washer, which goes right here in the top of the injector. You'll have to put it in whichever side you want. It doesn't matter because everything is the same. After that, you'll have to take the rubber washer, which we removed earlier from the engine. You'll have to take a 60 millimeter socket and you'll have to put the socket inside the rubber washer. I recommend you to also use a little uh, of Vaseline or, or something to lubricate the washer because in some cases it will not go very easy. And after that, you'll have to push it with a screwdriver over the engine. Just look what I'm doing. So as you can see, I have my rubber washer. I have my 16 millimeter socket installed into the rubber washer. And with my flat screwdriver, I'm pushing the rubber washer onto the top of the engine. So this is how it's looking. It will go inside very easy. This is how you'll want to install it. And you'll have to do the same for all of the other injectors. After that, you can go ahead and remove the piece of paper from the engine and you can go ahead to install the copper washer onto the injector. This is our last washer which we'll have to install on these injectors. But as you can see, when, I, when I'm putting the washer over the injector, the washer it's falling down. So what I recommend to do is to take some Vaseline and you'll have to put a little bit, a little bit of Vaseline right at the top of the injector. And after that, you can go ahead and put the washer over the Vaseline. And the Vaseline, as you can see, will hold the washer until you will put it into the engine. Just take a piece of paper after that and remove the layer of the Vaseline from the top of the injectors. Just remove the excess layer of the Vaseline. And after that, you can go ahead and put the injector back into the engine. If you have a dynamometry key, I recommend to take the bolt to 12 meters each. 
So the bolts from the injectors, the two bolts which are holding the injectors mounted onto the car, it's recommended to take them at 12 Nm. Okay everybody, it's exactly the same for the other injectors. I'm not going to film the other injectors because this video will be too long. I will do the other injectors off camera and after that I will come back and show you guys how to install everything back as it was before onto this engine. Okay everybody, I'm not sure if you all can see, but I installed all the new washers onto the injectors. I installed and replaced all the O-rings for the injectors. I cleaned the area from around the injectors very well. And then now I'm going to put everything back together onto the car. This is the old O-rings from all of the injectors. This is how they are looking. They are in a very bad condition and I think they have not been replaced for over 50,000 kilometers. Okay, now let's go ahead and put everything back together onto the car. I'm going to show you how to replace these O-rings from, from the fuel pipes, from the plastic fuel pipes, from the top of the injectors, and after that I will put everything back onto the car. Okay everybody, so here I'm almost done with installing everything back onto the engine and after that when you're trying to power the car, when you're trying to start up the car, you will see that the car will not start from the first time because the injectors will not have any fuel 
and it will not start the car so you'll have to turn on the ignition you'll have to take the ignition and put it back and so on until the fuel pipe from the from the reservoir until the fuel pipe from the reservoir will push the the fuel into the injectors and after that the car will start but Okay everybody, this is how it's looking, none of the injectors are leaking anymore, everything is good to go. So this was a problem, replacing the o-rings and the washers will fix your problem, will fix the leaking injectors and now everything is clean and no pressure is coming out from the engine. And right now I will check if all the injectors are working, you'll have to remove the clip, the connector, the power connector from each injector itself and you'll see that the engine will uh, not work so smooth and if the engine will not work so smooth as it was before this is meaning that all the injectors are working and you're good to go so all the injectors are working properly there are no problems no problems and warnings onto the dashboard so everything is good to go this is all you have to do to replace your o-rings from the injectors at home thank you all for watching if you like this video informative please leave a like and a comment down below see you next time